I'm Tim Parton. I'm the farm manager here at Brood Park Farm. Um, I've been manager here since 2003. And we're in, in South Staffordshire, just north of Wolverhampton. Uh, we're a 300 hectare farm. Um, I'd class this as an arable farm, but I do have grass in the rotation. Because I'm the farm manager here, obviously it's always important that the, the owners of the farm are on board and they are on board and, and they get the real picture of where we're going. Change is scary. It's not always easy. Change is scary. And, by, by being with it together and, and helping and guiding each other, you're supporting each other and that's what it's all about. And I think last century will be the, known as the chemical century within farming. This century is going to be the biological century. It's all about that soil cycling and, and working all the while so everything's available but stored, ready for the cash crop that I want to go. And by doing that, I'm growing a healthier cash crop. So again, I don't have the need to, to go in and, and kill insects or kill, have disease coming into the crop because I'm growing a healthy plant. Fungi's always been there for millions of years and we've always had this interaction so it's the symbiosis between the plant and fungi. The plant will, will, will put out exudates and ask the fungi to give it some phosphorus or give it some nitrogen or give it some water and the fungi will release that back but in return the, the, the plant is going to be putting sugars down there, amino acids down there to feed the fungi. It's the same with bacteria, bacteria can enter the plant roots and the plant will turn it into an endophyte and send it out to, to fix nitrogen to do what it wants for it. It's, it's, it's a living entity. We're getting that relationship working, which is why I don't need to put as many inputs on. And I'm getting the health of that plant right from the start so it can fight off disease. The soil is, is, is an active environment down there and it doesn't like disturbance. Fungi are so delicate. It's just like somebody putting a ball and chain through your house and just when you're starting to build the next brick and get it up there, somebody puts a ball and chain through again and just destroys everything so it can never establish itself. So the key one is, is little or no disturbance. That fungi will produce glomalin, which will keep all those nutrients in that aggregated form of soil for, for, for decades. It's, it's keeping it safe, which is what soil was always about. It's only when we disturb the soil that aggregation stops, those glues aren't working and the nutrients are released into the environment. And you will never see a drain on this farm running with dirty water. It's always gin clear water, which means I'm holding the soil on the farm, I'm keeping the nutrients on the farm, and I'm not polluting this planet in which we live. One of the real benefits of the system is you don't need the amount of machinery on farm. And the best thing you can do when you're starting out is to get rid of the plough, get rid of the combi drill. And it doesn't often make you focus when you haven't got that get out of jail card and you've got to make it work. When I'm drilling now, I probably use six litres of diesel per hectare. So my carbon footprint is always getting smaller rather than getting bigger and just respecting what we've got and making the business more profitable. That's what it's all about. We've got to be profitable. So I, I do an awful lot of plant testing, um, sap testing. So I can see what's happening. If I know the, the environment's wrong, it's too cold, I'll step in and do a foliar treatment just to keep that plant balanced until we get the right environment. I've, I've grown a crop of wheat down to 60, 60 kilos of N. Um, by doing foliar it's far more efficient, um, so it's three times, four times efficient of, of doing soil applied. If there are any other imbalances I can address those as I'm doing a nitrogen balance of that plant. It's constantly under observation but constantly at peak nutrition performance. Obviously I don't need to put the input, same amount of inputs on so I haven't put P and K fertiliser on now for 10 years because my indices are constantly going up. I'm not doing as many operations as we used to do on farm, so we know we're obviously not ploughing, that's a swear word to me now. I'm working with nature rather than against nature. The reason nature is, is going to send a, a, a pest, an insect, in to, to sort of take out that plant is because that plant isn't balanced. It's normally caused by a build-up of excess nitrogen. The pests will only really normally come in if you've got the monosaccharides and monofructose there. By adding the right nutrients, those sugars can be converted into polysaccharides and polyfructose, which just isn't digestible. It's not the right food for, for flea beetle or if it's coming in, so they just move on to another crop. When you're using an insecticide, you're not just killing that aphid, you're killing all the predators. And by getting rid of all the predators, you're then on that treadwheel that you can't get off because you've sprayed, you've taken the aphids out, but then there's nothing to, no natural balance of taking those aphids and when they come back, they will come back because you've still got those sugars in the plant, the plant's still asking for it. And then you've just got to keep spraying because you've taken the natural predators out. Since stopping using, using insecticides, if, when you walk the field, especially in early autumn, all the crops will just be covered in spiders, webs, they're doing the job for me. If I go looking for slugs, I'll find beetles. The whole farm has lifted and by doing that, we've got far more bird life on farm. 
everything just keeps coming back on form because we are the best restaurant in town and that again that feel good factor as a form of walking and knowing you're making more money knowing you've got a business to carry forward knowing you've got soil to carry forward what's not to like this is what it's all about in my mind is working with nature we've got the knowledge now to do that and we don't have to keep destroying everything to keep producing food I do give a lot of talks on the subject and it is important to get this out there. It's no good for me doing all these trials and learning all this stuff and keeping it to myself. People will always say, where do I start? I start. The most important thing is the start of that journey. Once you've made that first step, you're on the journey. I know change isn't easy, it's scary, but there's enough of us doing it now to help each other. It's all a regen farm and it's all about helping each other and sharing. You don't have to rush the journey. Making that start is the most important thing. The driving force has got to be to hand over and give that land in a better condition than what I found it and what every farmer should be moving on to give that land to the next generation and the generation after that.